Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I will discuss about Microsoft ongoing project Jarvis. This system connects large language model with the machine learning community. On April 2nd, a research paper called Hugging GPT was published. It discussed the integration of ChatGPT and Hugging Face to process inputs from user and solve complex AI tasks. Let's have a look in more details. So it's talk about integrating a chat GPT with Hugging Face. If you are not aware of Hugging Face, Hugging Face is a machine learning community where you will find lakhs of models available for your use. So they wanted to integrate chat GPT with this model so that they can utilize this existing model to solve all the tasks. And I have gone through this entire paper and this is something which I have noted down. So Hugging GPT is a system that's connect large language model that is chat GPT and machine learning community that is Hugging Face to process input from different user and solve numerous complex AI tasks. Another point is chat GPT is used to conduct task planning when receiving a user request and select a model according to their function description available in Hugging Face. So this is a very important point that once the user gives input, right, how chat GPT will decide that which model to pick from Hugging Face because there are, there are lakhs of models available in Hugging Face, right? So this is where the important point comes that in Hugging Face, every model has their description and based on their description, that description will be fused into the prompt and that will be used to make a connection with ChatGPT. And the entire process is divided into four stages that is task planning, model selection, task execution and response generation. So let's have a look at some example. So here is an example. Uh, how this chat GPT and hugging face is integrated. So user input is this, please generate an image where girl is reading a book and her pose is same as the boy in the image and the image is example.jpg. Then please describe the new image with your voice. So you see that first stage is task planning where chat GPT will divide this into numerous tasks from task one to task six, pose control, pose to image, task image class, object detection, image to text and text to speech. Then based on this task, it will select a model from hugging face. So you see here it has selected Facebook uh, model. Then then we have a task execution step and based on uh, task execution, the response will be given back. So let's have a look at the response here. So you see that what it has done is it has taken this image of the boy. Then it has used open pose control model to detect the pose. Then it has generated the image of a girl based on that pose. Another model to create a speech of that. So that's how this integration is done. So let's have a look at uh, Jarvis code base here. Uh, so you'll see that this project is under construction and we'll have the code ready soon. And then there are some uh, recent updates. Apart from that, there is an overview which we already discussed about just now. And then we have a system requirements. Uh, you, we can run this on our local system and this will be uh, the basic requirement for the system. And to start, we will need uh, OpenAI keys and Hugging Face cookie. So let's see how it will actually look when you run it in your local. So as per the screenshot provided by them. So here, a uh, user has provided image A, B and C. Uh, please tell me how many zebras are in the picture. So you see here, uh, it has selected models accordingly, everything. And then it has counted. There are four zebras in the picture. I'll provide the link of this GitHub uh, in the description of the video. You can have a look. And if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share with your friends and see you in the next video. Thank you.